Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, the 6th of September, Wednesday of the week of Pentecost 14. The reading, Samuel Schmucker, 1799-1873. Now, Schmucker is one who is in not good repute with most effete Lutherans, with for some good reason, I would have to admit. But this passage is absolutely delightful in its clarity and that it is from Samuel Schmucker makes it all the more precious. And Christ explicitly declared that his kingdom is not of this world. That is, that it is not a temporal, political kingdom. He nowhere assigns to ministers of the gospel any political duties. As such, therefore, they have none to perform. If their fellow citizens choose to call into service their talents, experience, and integrity, integrity in behalf of their political welfare, and they feel at liberty to engage in such duties, they do it as citizens of the country and not as ministers of the gospel. As a general rule, the writer believes that ministers of the, of the gospel ought not to engage in the duties of political office because their sacred calling may well engage their entire time and talents and there are always men enough of talent and integrity who are both able and willing to consecrate their time to the service of their country. We are inclined, moreover, to entertain the belief that in the present tranquil state of our happy country, few men whose hearts are rightly engaged in the duties of the Christian ministry will be found willing to engage in political life. In times of great emergency, however, when the liberties of a country are in eminent danger, it would seem to be a paramount duty incumbent on all citizens in every possible manner to cooperate with the constituted authorities of the land to avert impending danger. Among the most zealous champions of American liberty, <coughs> excuse me, were the Reverend Dr. Witherspoon of the Presbyterian Church, General Peter Muhlenberg, who having labored for years in the Lutheran ministry, aided in fighting our country's battles, and afterwards was elected member of Congress in 1880 of the Senate of the House, and his brother, Reverend Fred Muhlenberg, who in 1789 was elected Speaker of the First Congress under the new Constitution. The Prayer, Book of Common Prayer, 1549. Lord God Almighty, who has made all peoples of the earth for thy glory, to serve thee in freedom and peace, grant the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with thy gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.